Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you? Today is Monday and today is Nuke's Top 5. Did you see it? Yes, we bloody did, but we're not. We're going to, though. This one's called Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Cry Yourself to Sleep. Make sure you go over to Nuke's Top 5 channel. Subscribe and do the thing, because he bloody deserves it, mate. Anyway, have you ever cried yourself to sleep? Huh? Maybe emotionally you have. But have you cried yourself to sleep in fear? We'll find out today! Get yourself a cup of tea, mate, cup of coffee. Get yourself snug as a bug in a rug. And without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, Yank! <laughs> Top five ghosts caught on camera. Turning the tables. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies were contacted about an Paranormies. old abandoned farmhouse that's said to be extremely haunted. Over the last 70 years, the farmhouse in Steinbeck, Canada has been passed from owner to owner under very mysterious circumstances. In fact, it is said that no one has ever lived in the house for more than two or three years. Rumors began to circulate that the reason that so many people moved from the house was because it was extremely haunted by a demonic presence. Ooh. New owners claimed to hear unexplained voices, and their children woke up screaming, claiming to see the terrifying apparition of what they called, quote, a bad man. And the haunting is- Oh man, that's just gonna be the shiver straight away, mate. That's just gonna be the shiver straight away. Come on, let's go. It's not just inside the home. Strange dark figures have been seen in the property's barn. The couple who reached out to the Paranormies team say that they've seen someone staring at them from outside the window on the second floor, which is about 10 to 12 feet off the ground. What? Hey, Mr. Hoverman! He's on a fucking hoverboard! Look at in! Go and look at you! Eventually, no one wanted to buy this supposedly cursed house no matter how low the price. The farmhouse has now been abandoned for years. Oh, mate. Paranormies team member Jordan sits down in the home's bathroom to do a sensory deprivation session. So while team member Johnny asks questions, Jordan will be blindfolded with headphones blocking out all other sound, except what comes through their spirit box. What happens next shocks them both. Here we go, here we go. We're doing a sensory deprivation here. We got this camera and this camera. We heard some noises coming from this area while we were kind of just setting up the cameras and it just sounded like it was trying to draw us into this area. So we wanted to do a sensory deprivation here. But we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. Um, Jordan's going to be in here uh, and he's going to be calling it out and I'm going to be watching. Literally, look at his face, mate. He's shitting it already. He's like, am I? Well, fucking hang on, mate. We didn't agree to this. Wandering around the house so we can kind of just split up and see what we can hear. If you're... The one who Stand. scared that couple off. Can you make a noise for us? Eat, eat me too. Or give Jordan some answers. Johnny. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard something. I heard something. It was, it was loud enough, mate. It was this light bulb dude. A light bulb. It was a light bulb dude. It was a dude that looked like a light bulb. <laughs> Look. Oh my god. That wasn't already there? No. Not long after Johnny asks for the spirit to make a sound for them, a light bulb mysteriously falls to the floor right outside the bathroom. And I'm not being funny, mate. Well, I, I suppose he could have hid. He could have hid and just uh, undone it, but. Yeah, that was like the camera shows it where Jordan is sitting when slowed down. You can actually see their static camera capture yeah. the moment the light bulb falls to the floor. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence, but what happens next is a lot harder to explain. While setting up more static cameras, things take a terrifying turn. Here we go, mate. Okay, yeah, so I kind of want to set up a camera in that corner there and I want to set up a camera either in this corner or it's gonna kick off mate what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck mate dude what was that what do you mean what was that the fucking table spinning around mate oh 
Oh, mate, get the f fucking jump out the window! What? Jordan. Jordan. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, the tables have turned. <laughs> Where should we go, dude? I want to get out of here for a minute, please. A heavy table takes a hard flip over all on its own, and the two investigators are understandably a bit freaked out. But there was something else that happened during this creepy incident. It was that bit that we just wobbled. It's like, it, I don't know, obviously, it, it naturally did that, but it seemed like it, it wobbled, slowed down, and then wobbled again. It was weird. Something you might not have even noticed. There's a lot that was going on during the table um, incident that I think was missed. And for me personally, one of the scariest things, aside from the table being flipped, was hearing the footsteps coming down the stairs. Stop. Oh God, yeah, I didn't even hear that, mate. I thought it was them. That was like invisible footsteps, mate. Stop. Motherfucker, I'm gone. Stop. Stop. Something seems to actually run down the wooden stairs and a split second later, the table is flipped over violently. Jordan and Johnny take a break before continuing their investigation. Then they head to the farm's barn. Wouldn't that be enough? I'll be like, yeah, 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 paranormal activity. Absolutely, mate, right, let's fuck off home. Two guys question whether the necrophonic spirit box app they're using is actually working. And they get a very unexpected answer. Is necrophonic real? So it sounds like some... Oh, no, 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 mate. Oh. No fucking way! What was that? Mate, look That's at the chicken. Was. You throw a box and you say yes, you threw the box. So it sounds like some... Rambo it! Let this... But mate, there's no one there. There is literally, there's no door, there's no window, all right? There's no secret passage. There's no one there. What was that? What appears to be a can and a box are thrown across the barn. The paranormies guys quickly run over to the back of the barn to investigate, but there's no one there. The guys have no idea what could have suddenly launched these objects into the air. Soon after, Jordan and Johnny call it a night and end their investigation. But after uploading their video to YouTube, their viewers were shocked to see something that the paranormies actually missed. Mate, if I see a shadow person, mate, motherfucker, I'm gone! I'm gone! ...while exploring the abandoned farm. Take a very close look. This place, all the like, glasses shattered and stuff. So it's got to be that window. It'd be that window. And barn. Upstairs, Find the light back yeah. here. Yo, Johnny. What? So, yeah, there's a barn back there. Oh, I can't really see it on my camera. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it, mate. What looks like a dark hand can be seen reaching out from. What? Look at you. Look at the skin, mate. Look at the chicken. Look. Look at it, man. Look at you. Look at you. Your fucking black the hand, mate. The second floor window. This is the same window where the couple claimed that they saw- Look at it! It's like a fucking tarantula spider thing! Saw someone looking in at them. So could this be the demonic entity that locals claim haunt the abandoned farmhouse? Did Jordan and Johnny capture evidence of the paranormal activity that has driven past owners away in only a couple of years? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full two-part series and many more scary investigations over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Ooh, Paranormies, mate. Like it. Someone 
or something. Paranormal investigators Tarek, Merrick, and Rimsey from the YouTube channel Paranoiacs travel to a remote abandoned house in the middle of nowhere in Austria. Sounds this like a plan, mate. Sounds like a good idea. Structure surrounded by nothing but snow looks like something straight out of a horror movie. Yeah, man. In the dead of night, the three friends brace the icy cold weather to explore the creepy building. They quickly realize that they might not be alone. Mate, just Rambo it, just Rambo it, man. Come on. Get out there, Rambo it, go! Fuck! Run! <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Oh, mate, if that actually happened. <laughs> if that actually happened, man. Well, obviously it did happen, but it actually happened to me. I just fucking rambo it. I pick the door up, throw it, mate, run up the stairs and say, who the hell do you think you are? The paranoiac team hears strange sounds, almost like footsteps coming from the second floor. And soon after, a heavy door falls over on its own. They question what they might be dealing with. Something paranormal or someone up to no good. Yeah, it could be. The three explorers hear more strange sounds coming from upstairs and they cautiously approach the staircase to check it out. It did not go well. You know when Nuke says it did not go well, it didn't go well. <laughs> hey, get up there and just investigate. <laughs> Split up! Oh, fucking hell! Abi ne oluyor? Onu nereden geldi ya? Yukarı çektin mi? As they are debating whether to go upstairs, the decision is made for them as a heavy bed made of straw is thrown down the staircase, blocking their path. The paranoiac team decides that's quite enough of all that, and they just <laughs> leave the creepy- No, get up there, mate, investigate. Just go, well, what the hell is that all about, mate? You know, get all the bloody, the things, the equipment and stuff, right? That's clearly paranormal activity to them, right? So get up there, get all of the cameras you got, all of the, the sound things you got, the thermal things you got, and, and, and investigate, okay? And do it. And just put this whole ghost paranormal shit to sleep. Abandoned structure. But once back outside in the freezing snow, they take one last look back at the building. <laughs> Oh, fuck off, mate. Fuck off with your bloody shadow shit. I can't, I can't be having this shit, mate. It's bloody shadow stuff. It freaks me out. Bir şey var orada. Ne oluyor lan? Abi bak, bir şey var. Görüyor musun o? Yürü, yürü. What is it? What is that? Is that like Chewbacca or something? A strange shadow can be seen from one of the upstairs windows. The investigators believe the entity to possibly be a djinn. But what do you think? Were the investigators dealing with a dark presence? Is it a homeless squatter who was simply defending his territory? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full video and many more <laughs> creepy explorations over on the YouTube channel, Paranoiacs. Paranoiacs. Hey, I like it the, how they're, they're, they're putting um, twists on the name of pa uh, Paranormal. <laughs>
a video that you I was gonna say paranoia then think would be perfect for the top five or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com the ghosts of petworth chapel Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations travel to the abandoned Petworth Chapel in a small village in Sussex, England. In World War II, a German air raid hit a nearby boys' school, and 28 children tragically lost their lives. Fucking hell. They were Fucking hell. Laid to rest in the chapel cemetery. Cut to present day. Locals and visitors to Petworth Chapel say that they have seen and heard the apparitions of children playing in the cemetery. And there is even said to be another ghost haunting the chapel, as many believe that the spirit of the cemetery's loyal longtime groundskeeper still haunts the property. So as Ghost Tech begins their paranormal investigation late one night, team member Phil experiences something that he just can't explain. Over with that. Oh mate. Someone just pulled my jacket. What? Let's see it, let's see it. No. Yeah. I wonder why you moved a bit quick then. Phil says he feels something tug at his jacket. Now chilling as that might I be. Can't, I can't see his jacket being pulled. Fortunately, the static camera doesn't capture. Hmm, it did it or not? I don't know. Jacket. Now chilling as that might be, unfortunately, the static camera doesn't capture the creepy event. Uh, is it my imagination or does it slightly? Vent. But later into the investigation, when the Ghost Tech team are inside the Petworth Chapel, Jeff takes a few photos, and what he captures is downright chilling. Oh, God. Fucking hell, mate. Are you having a laugh? Look at you about to pounce. Huh? Look at you. That was strange. That one was all blurred. Fuck off, mate. No way. Oh, God. Look. One. Two chicken. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm fucking doing. But look at it. Look at the state of you, mate. No fucking legs, just the upper body, the torso. Hey? Look at you with your fucking torso, shadow bastard. Mate. Don't move, Phil. Something's not right. Mate, if my mate said that, don't move, Ben. Something's not right. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Jeff takes a picture of Phil, and at first, everything seems normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. But then, a dark mass seems to rise right up out of the ground next to Phil, seemingly reaching out to him. So is it possible that Ghost Tech captured one of the spirits still restlessly wandering the cemetery grounds? Did whatever it was that tugged on Phil's jacket follow him into the chapel? You decide. You can watch this full video and many more investigations right. of tragic and chilling hauntings over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. All right. And still, really haunted. I featured the YouTube channel Really Haunted many times before, and for good reason. Oh, mate. I remember these lot. I remember these lot, mate. The epic. Epic. I might have to go over to their channel and just check it out. Fucking hell, man. Like, I remember seeing somebody in the comments saying, Super Ted. That's Super Ted, mate. Cash shit in it. YouTuber Lee has uploaded some truly bizarre videos of an ongoing poltergeist haunting that he says is occurring in his home in England. Wh I what? What? Mate, I Okay, this is not good, mate. This is not bloody good because this shit what I'm seeing now really starts with messing my head. It makes me really start believing in this shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, really. And I don't like it. I gotta see that again. Like, what the hell? I'm like, what the hell's that all about? Now, 
if you're a regular watcher of this channel, you know I'm not much of a believer in orbs. I think they're usually bugs or dust. But in this case, if you watch closely, you can actually see some sort yeah. of orb appear for a split second on the screen boom. near the chair, right before it violently flips over and breaks into pieces. And amazingly, check out the doggo on the couch. He's not <laughs> even bothered at all. But maybe living in this house, he's just used to it. But... Mate, I'm telling you, if I was the ghost and I did that, I'd be like, bro! Yes, mate! Flipped it back onto his feet! Cut to another night, and Lee is fast asleep in bed. And then this happens. I, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Fucking hell! Oh, mate. Oh, man. How could you sleep? How could you sleep for one second in that house? We can hear heavy thumping footsteps on the floor and then the nightstand suddenly flips over on its own. And then something sets off the downstairs burglar alarm. But when Lee checks, there's no one in the house. There's Ethel in there, mate. Lee says that the paranormal activity in his home has gotten so bad that lately his wife and kids have been sleeping in a camper parked outside the house. You can watch more of the cra Oh, that's sad, man. That's sad. If that's true, that's sad. Crazy paranormal activity that Lee has recorded in his house over on his YouTube channel, really haunted. Meanwhile, on TikTok, a bus driver in Argentina claims that whenever he reaches the end of his bus route, which happens to be an old graveyard, that he always experiences strange unexplained occurrences that he believes to be paranormal. So he started recording his experiences each time he reached the graveyard and posting them to TikTok. At first, he just used the TikTok filter reality ripple effect, which allegedly shows ghosts all around you. Detectar las las ondas de calor y estoy acá en el cementerio. Que se aparece la del cementerio. La concha de su madre, ¿qué fue? Que se aparece la puta que te parió. A ver. No solo la la concha la lora. A ver. La puta que te parió. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm gone. ¿Eh? Eso que no hay nadie. ¿eh? ¿Qué eso? ¿Qué onda? ¿Quién sos? ¿Quién sos? Eh, toca el timbre, eh, toca el timbre. Ring Dale. the bell. Toca el timbre. La puta que te parió. La... All aboard. The night train! Diddly -diddly. Now, it was enough to freak him out and also some of his more superstitious friends. Oh, shit! Oh, mate! <laughs> hey. After he had recorded using the app for a couple of weeks, he says that he had a much more serious encounter when the bus was stopped at the graveyard. An experience that chilled him to his core. Oh, man, here we go, here we go. La quinta parte, vamos a ver si hoy captamos algo. Oh, la puta que le parió. ¿Qué fue eso? Parecieron como que me cerraron una ventana. La puta madre. Fucking no, 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 no. La puta madre, no grabo nunca más acá, eh. Concha su madre. 
Me, me están abriendo la puerta. Lo, lo vieron, eh. Quedó grabado. Quedó grabado. La concha de su madre. La concha de su madre. What? Me están abriendo. ¡Ay! ¡La puta que te parió! Yo me voy a la mierda. ¡Ah! ¡Shit! La su madre. No, no, no. La puta que te parió. La puta que te The Argentinian bus driver now seems to have stopped his late night graveyard bus recordings completely. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't recorded any ghost encounters since this last video. TikTok user Dad Sass says that she and her sister have been experiencing some He's probably got another bloody job. strange paranormal phenomena in their home. One night when her sister is sleeping, their CCTV camera captures something truly bizarre. So we've been home from the hospital for a while because our kids have RSV. And uh, thank God I have cameras because my sister was sleeping and we caught this f***ing bull. We caught this what? <clears throat> what? She's stroking the dog? What? Is that the cat? The family says that they have no pets in the house that could have pulled off the blanket. So I'm not sure what caused. Well, what's she stroking? This. So uh, let me know what you think. Oh, well, she's got me stroking something. You don't just wake up and start stroking a, a ghost. Dear. Like, what? What is that? Thanks so much for watching Instagram here, Twitter there, and TikTok, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> I'll see you next week. There you go, mate. Nukes top five. Absolutely bloody brilliant, mate. Freaky deaky. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a little like, mate. If you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And I love you forever. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.